get you? Could I get a gin and tonic, please? Gin tonic? Yeah, course. double, that's all double. right. Double. Double. Dutch courage, you know. Tackling his stage fright this Valentine's is West End performer Joseph. Don't worry about your nose, though. I mean, you know, everyone gets Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm a bit out of date with the dating scene. When I think of Valentine's Day, I think, ugh, a bit, because um, I've never had anything on uh, this special, special day. No, nothing. Poor me. What do you do? Um, so I'm an actor. I work oh. in West End musicals. I have always loved singing and pretending I was Liza Minnelli on the Carnegie Hall stage, you know, singing New York, New York. <laughs> so this doesn't leave a lot of free time then, I guess. I um, find it hard to find like a guy because they have always not liked the fact that I'm going on tour maybe sometimes. I've never actually had like a boyfriend in my life. I've dated, but I can't get past four weeks. I don't want to be that guy at 30 who still never had a, a boyfriend like the 40-year-old virgin, which I'm not, by the way. And what are you looking for? I guess you just need to find someone who can compliment your life and actually accepts it. As long as you're a good person, and that is what is, is sexy to me and you know, attractive. Right. I would love to like have a perfect date, like bond over a musical and, and talk over each other. Like blah, 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 less than that. I think that will happen. It sounds like you're ready for it. So what part of Yorkshire did you grow up in? York? I am from a family of, of eight. Really? I have a very small family. It just really consists of my mother, my father, my sister. She's also gay, my sister. Oh, is she? Poor parents. I know. They were like, oh, the no grandchildren. My mum said to my dad, what did we do wrong? Well, I, I guess you, you can a, a, adopt, can't you, I guess? I can't imagine myself having children. I'm actually adopted myself. Are you? Yeah. I was abandoned when I was three days old. I was left in a box at a bus stop in Kampala. The police found me, and they named me Mutebi. That was my baby ex name for a lost and found baby. I don't know anything about my birth parents. All I know is that they wanted me to be found and me to have a better life. I don't even know where I was born. The police then took me to the nearest orphanage and left me there. At that time, my mother was working as a volunteer in the orphanage. And there's hundreds of babies coming every day, and she saw me and said, oh, that's him. They filed, especially for adoption, that same day they met me. It was like falling in love. What a lovely thing for them to have done. Knowing what my parents gave like, to me and how they saw me as a baby, I was saying, that's him in the beginning. I am looking for that love. Your heart thinks quicker than like your mind, you know. I think that's something to trust on your instinct. I came through. Well, look at me now, little potty little stocky little boy. I would have died within a week if I hadn't been from my parents. My life's a breeze compared to yours. That's why I don't take life for granted. Oh, babe. Yeah. I think I'm ready for it, love. I really, really, really am. So what actually would you say are the funny facts about you or interesting things? I'm just a regular person trying to go about my day-to-day -day life, trying to meet the man of my dreams. And how is that going for you? So far, quite well. Make sure you subscribe to get a regular serving of love and romance.